last year a lot and playing together as a band quite a lot really helped us to find what our sound was and find who we are more as a, as a band and it kind of became really clear the direction we were heading when we got into the studio to record Technicolor. We were all on quite a similar page and really wanted to progress our sound and, and take the songs to a fresh space. There's a marked difference between um, you know, the Parachute Band on the first album and the Parachute Band on the second album. You know, just sitting there on the, on the other side of the glass, just kind of watching these guys develop. Um, it's quite a privilege really actually to see them you know, come into their own um, to the point where they're pretty much producing themselves. The difference between the first and the second album from a band point of view, just so much more together and so much more mature and you know, they're just like they've found themselves. In this place we have found the freedom cleansing streets have set us free. You are all that we ever need. As we were collecting songs for the second album Technicolor, we really noticed that through a lot of them there was this underlying theme of water and, and the living water that God brings. And the song Living Rain is a really cool example of that. It kind of encapsulates how we feel about this album and it's a, it's a prophetic song I reckon and it talks about asking God's water which is His love, His grace, everything that makes up God to flood us and wash us and, and cleanse us. Come to the River was a song that Omega and myself wrote and um, Omega really had that chorus given to him, like it was kind of like a gift that we didn't really understand the meaning of but we really felt that it was from God and it just says, come, come to the river, you are the living water, wash me clean, wash me clean and we spent quite a few months trying to unpack that and see what that meant and, and really reveal in our own hearts what, what that was talking about because we really felt it was a divine thing and a, a scripture came to us which is in John 4, 14 and it just says, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And I guess for me, the cool thing about the song is that there's a, a double meaning to it. There's the thought of coming to the river and getting washed and laying it down, getting yourself washed by God's living water. But then also the fact that once that's happened, it's, it happens for the reason of flowing out of you again. So you get changed and you help others in the process. As we've been traveling over the last year and a bit, God's really kind of been giving us a passion for the lost and the broken and writing things that are wrong, like, you know, I guess social justice and the poor and needy. And there's, there's so much stuff happening in our world. And I guess we're learning that as part of our worship, like it says in Hebrews 13, it's, it's the fruit of lips, which is what we do with our songs and when we lead worship, but it's also doing good and putting actions to our faith. So we had the, the privilege of going to Rwanda last year and, and hanging out with some of the kids there in, in a school that we're sponsoring. It really breaks you going there, like you can't really go there and, and leave the same way that you went in. I felt really angry about what happened there, but to see the, the smiles of the children's faces just really broke my heart and I'll never ever be the same after I went there. Music is such a huge part of African culture and such a huge part of bringing hope to the people there and we fell in love with the music of the place. You know, when we were recording a song on our new album Technicolor called Everlasting, we really felt it would be cool to incorporate what we saw and heard on that track. And so we got a group of singers from Africa and recorded it, and you can hear it on that song. And it's really cool for us to be able to represent our friends from the other side of the world. So the concept of the album is that water equals life, which equals colour. A life lived in full blazing colour, Technicolor. Whoa!